Yeah, I'm Alfred Vogler and I will introduce the MSc in Taxonomy and Biodiversity that we teach at Imperial College jointly with the Naturalist Museum in London. So ever since the great explorations of the 18th and 19th century, we brought back specimens from all around the world and deposited them in the large um, museum collections around the world. And so the NHM probably the most comprehensive of all those collections. Um, and so these collections are really very important to um, synthesize to learn about the biological diversity that's out in the, the world and puts things in a particular place where we can make comparisons between um, species, between geographic regions, between ecosystems, etc. So, but to do this, we need taxonomy. This course teaches the scientific discipline of taxonomy, um, and which is a rather conceptual and um, theory-rich discipline and also uses increasingly advanced technology. Um, so the perspective we are taking is a um, more historical or phylogenetic perspective to the analysis of biodiversity um, because we want to um, understand biological diversity from an evolutionary perspective which gives us a very efficient way of, of classification all that great diversity. And therefore tree thinking is very important in this course. So we are teaching um, how to build evolutionary trees and how to do phylogenetic analysis. That's very much the core of it. Um, we also use the specimens, many of them in the collection. We use imaging techniques, we use morphometrics to describe the specimens. We're also using DNA increasingly in taxonomy. Um, and more recently we use genomics methodology um, which really changes very much the way we study biological diversity. Now, genomics brings a lot of data and we need to deal with this um, flood of data. And so one of the modules we are introducing now is um, bioinformatics. We also teach a module on paleontology to examine um, what the fossil record can tell us about the evolution of living organisms and how they were affected by evolution, environmental change over geological ages. Um, then there's an emphasis on transferable skills, um, statistics, computing, um, um, geospatial analysis, also field sampling and trapping of specimens and um, statistic analysis of biodiversity. Uh, in addition, there's a module that specifically teaches students how to handle specimens, examine the collections, um, and um, also to extract valuable information from these collections using information technology. Um, so in other words, we're trying to provide up-to-date um, teaching on the methods and the theory of taxonomy, biodiversity and evolutionary biology. Um, and so for the most part, this course is actually held at the Natural History Museum, which is a beautiful building right in the centre of London, and that, that holds the amazing historical collection and is a beautiful background for this um, master's course. Um, from our experience, students have a lot of options in terms of future employment. Um, so if you're interested in organism biology, there are uh, it's a great need for taxonomy in, um, for instance, environmental um, monitoring, ecological consultancies, wildlife trusts and government departments. Increasingly, people need um, phylogenetics, in, also in evolutionary biology, genomics and biomedical research. So this is another great area where people find employment. Uh, um, many of our students um, go on to uh, do scientific publishing, teaching and also media where there's a great interest in biodiversity. And finally, um, many students go on to PhD programs. Um, this course has proven to be a great springboard for PhD students um, and also starting point for academic careers. And in addition to this course, we actually offer an associated MRES course in biosystematics, which is specifically designed for students uh, with an interest in going further into PhD studies. We are looking for students who are fascinated by the great diversity of living organisms. Um, and um, 
it is in a fascinating time to be involved in this area. There are still probably 90% of all species not described and not known to science and um, we have many new tools available now to study this. Um, so this is a great time to be involved and um, if you are interested, if you are fascinated by the great diversity of the living world, um, then we would like you to get in contact and we would be very happy to see your application.